Good morning, good morning. Praise the Lord, everybody. Good morning. Good morning, good morning. Praise the Lord, everybody. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Bless the King. Glory to God. Bless the King. It is Wednesday the 19th, and we're just grateful unto the God of our Lord. Grateful unto the God who is Lord. And we're just grateful for this time for the medicine. That he has supplied us with the medicine. Come on now, you're ready for your medicine. Today's prescription comes from Proverbs chapter 19, verse 25. Man, the joy of the Lord is my strength. Come on now. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Praise the Lord, everybody, as we get ready for to conquer this day. Today's prescription comes from Proverbs chapter 19, verse 25. Strike a mocker and the inexperienced learn a lesson. Rebuke the discerning and he gains knowledge. Strike a mocker and the inexperienced learn a lesson. Rebuke the discerning and he gains knowledge. You know, one thing that I've come to see, one thing that I've come to learn is that we will never stop learning. One thing I've come to learn is that we'll never stop learning. We'll never stop learning. Sometimes we may get out of high school and you may think you, you have known it all or you got that college degree or you got that certificate, whatever the case may be, whatever profession you're in, Wherever you are in life, you will never stop learning. Nobody can master learning. Nobody. I don't care what it is. There's always more to learn. Can never master learning. Why do I say that? Because Jesus said that each day brings its own trouble. So how can I master something of some things I don't even know that's going to happen and some things I will find myself in that I've never found myself in before? Therefore, hence, you will learn. Because we don't know what tomorrow holds. We don't know what each day will bring. Each day has its own troubles. Each day has its own circumstances. Each day has its own tribulations. Each day has its own things that I will go through. So I've come to this conclusion. As the Lord has shown that we will forever continue to learn. Learning every day is an opportunity for us to learn something that God is trying to teach us. So if we can never get to a place where we master learning, the question I have for our morning medicine today is, are you learning? Are you learning? Are you getting the lesson? Are you learning? Have you gotten to a place where you think you've mastered an area where therefore you've closed that area off where you no longer try to learn? You think that you've mastered that so you no longer want to receive counsel. You no longer want to receive guidance. You no longer want to receive instruction because somewhere in your mind, you think you have that place mastered. I'll tell you, you are not far from the fool because nobody has mastered anything except the Lord because he is the God who's all-knowing. And because I am not all-knowing, everything that I approach, everything that 
I get engaged with from my limited capacity that makes it limited of the information I can receive. Therefore, I have not mastered it. There is still more to learn. There is no preacher. There is no teacher. There is no apostle. There is no prophet. Nobody has mastered the Bible. We continue to learn the Bible. God continues to reveal himself unto us to take us to deeper places than we were before. But if you have that in your mind, that somehow you've mastered it, somehow you've mastered it, then you are quite foolish. And you can be missing out on what God is actually trying to teach you to have you go deeper. Are you closed off because you think you've mastered a thing? Notice that this scripture says in Proverbs chapter 19, verse 25, I'm going to start from the bottom and work my way back up to the top. He says, rebuke the discerning and he gains knowledge. When the Bible says this rebuke the discerning, they are in a posture that they understand that they have not mastered anything. They have not mastered anything. In other words, they're open to receive correction. They're open to receive more knowledge. Why? Because they're in a posture that they know there's still more to learn. And that's important because if we come with this mentality that we know it all, it leaves no room for growth. We can't gain more knowledge in that area. You can't master parenting. I don't care how many kids you have. Because the, you know and understand each child brings a different perspective of parenting. So how can you think you master parenting? How can you think you mastered fill in a blank when each day it is a different perspective because each day brings its own? I don't care how much degree, how many degrees you have. That don't mean you're a master of it. That don't mean you don't know, you know everything. Therefore, you're not in position to learn more. The Bible says that person that person who's in a posture, Proverbs chapter 19, verse 25, you rebuke the one who has understanding and he would discern knowledge. In other words, they don't know it all and they know it. So they're in a position to learn. Are you in a position to learn? Are you learning? Or somehow you think that you know it all. You don't want to receive counsel. And you definitely don't want to receive rebuke. You don't want to receive counsel. And you definitely don't want to receive any rebuke. Why? Why would you want to receive rebuke if you think you already got it? And I tell you for this morning medicine, that is one of the most dangerous places we can be in where we're in a position where we think we've mastered it so we can't even receive counsel nor rebuke. Are you learning? The Bible says the one who able to receive the rebuke has understanding. What understanding? They understand they don't know it all. Chill out, Mr. and Mrs. Know-it-all. You don't know it all. And it's a blessing that you don't know it all because it leaves room for you to grow. Because the Bible says they will add knowledge. They will discern knowledge. They will add to them because it's needed. 
and they understand the reason why God is allowing this counsel, God is allowing this rebuke, because he's showing that they don't know it all. And the area that's lacking, God is trying to fill. But if I come to this place where I'm unable to learn or I don't, I think I've mastered that thing, then guess what? You miss out on the blessing that God is trying to bring to you because of your foolishness. Are you learning? Are you in a place where you understand that you have not mastered it? That God brings people, God brings the rebuke, God brings the counsel in those forms to increase our learning. But if we're not in a posture that we know that we don't know it all, then you'll miss what God is trying to bring to increase you in that area. Are you learning? It's important that we recognize this because some of us have gotten this posture where we're close to learning. So God speaks of rebuking. That's the one who has understanding because they're in a posture to learn. But then in the beginning of the verse, he says, you strike a mocker and the inexperienced learn a lesson. So he speaks a rebuke in one, and then he says, the inexperienced learn a lesson by what they see. He says, you strike a mocker and the inexperienced learn a lesson. So in other words, he's saying that there's also learning by watching what other people go through. So in one way, God brings us rebuke. God brings us counsel. And he wants us to learn. But another way that God does it is by us, him allowing us to see what others go through. And he wants us to learn from them. Learn from the mocker. And he said, those that are inexperienced learn a lesson. So God says that we have to pay attention because there's lessons to be learned in what we see people go through. Specifically, the mockers. And the mockers are those who don't believe in God. The ones who don't want to follow righteousness. And the Bible says the inexperienced, we learn some things from what they go through. But the question is, are you learning? Are you learning what God is actually showing? God is not allowing you to see that for no reason. God allows us to see it so that we can learn a lesson from it. But sometimes, again, we don't think we need to learn. So we're even closed off from receiving the lesson and also receiving the lesson that God is actually showing us, giving us a movie screen picture. We learn from that. For example, God has shown you, we see it all the times, what adultery would do to a marriage. And we see that somebody's caught up in adultery and what it did to that family. And God allowed us to see that. So in God allowing us to see that, that teaches us that we maybe shouldn't dibble and dabble in adultery. God shows us where people commit crimes and they get time. So maybe God is trying to show you that you probably shouldn't be committing those crimes. God shows us where people get engaged in all types of sin, and these are the things that happen. Why is God showing us that? So the inexperienced can learn a lesson. And we are the inexperienced ones. I don't have to go through something to learn it. Sometimes God shows me in order for me to learn it in that way. But the problem is, I'm not trying to learn. 
or I'm not seeing the lesson that he's presenting. And that's why I asked you for this morning message, morning medicine. Are you learning? We see what things do. God allows us to see the end of a matter when somebody gets into a matter and God allows us to see it so we can be so that we can see what not to get into. Man, I saw Susie lose her job over that. God says that means you need to be mindful over doing things like that. Man, I saw that person get uh released because they were consistently late. Well, maybe God is teaching you that you need to be on time. We see so many things that God is showing us for us to learn the lesson. But the question is, are you learning? Are you getting the lesson? So many things that God shows us that can destroy a family. So many things that we've experienced in our life that destroys family. So God is trying to teach us that because he's showing us that so that we won't continue to repeat the pattern. You saw what abuse does. You saw what it do, what it did to you. So how can you repeat it? No, the lesson was for you to learn it so that you don't repeat it. Not that you can excuse it and, and give yourself an excuse of why you can you have to be in it too. No, God is saying, I showed you that so that you won't repeat it because you saw the devastation of it. Man, I saw what fill in the blank. I saw what alcoholism did to the family. I saw what drugs do. I saw my uncles strung out on drugs and what that did to them. And you know what lesson I learned from that? That's why I, I did not put myself in a place to even play with drugs because God showed me what it did to a person. Family members stealing from family members. You can't even trust them. And in God showing me that, he taught me a lesson because I was inexperienced in that area. I've never, I've never have done that drug. But then I didn't have to do that drug to learn it because I was paying attention to the picture that he was showing me. I was paying attention to what the mocker was going through. And I said, you know what? I don't want to go through that. And I grabbed hold of the lesson that I'm not going to dibble and dabble into those things. Why? Because I see the ending of it. I see what revenge can do to a person. One of the guys I ra was raised up with, revenge, and he allowed anger to sit in his heart. And you don't know how that anger is going to manifest. That's why God said, don't sleep on your anger. Give it to me. Forgive. Because if you allow some things to settle, you don't know what to manifest. And that one of my friends, one of my friends I grew up with, he allowed that anger to manifest. And he went and retaliated on the people he felt did something to his brother. And now he's doing a life sentence in the penitentiary. And sometimes we'll minimize, minimize it by saying, you know what? I'm not going to go all that bad or I'm not going to I'm not going to do all of that to get all of that. But we're missing the lesson. Are you learning from what God has shown you? God has shown you there's a consequence when you allow anger to reside in your heart and you allow it to manifest. There's consequences that come with that. So in God teaching me that I learned from that. I saw what it saw in what in. What, what sexual immorality does. I see that. I saw, I see what broken homes does. So why would I want to engage in starting another cycle of broken homes? I see what that does. I see what me not having a father did to my life. So why would I want to compete, compete, com ah, man, look at me get tongue tied. Continue to continue to 
Repeat that cycle. Man, thank you, Holy Spirit. No, I've learned a lesson. Therefore, that God helped me to abstain because I don't want to continue to repeat. So again, I ask you, are you learning the lesson? Are you learning it? Are you learning it? Are you learning what God is showing you? We see what lives are like without God first. So why would I not put him first? God has allowed me to see it and allow me to be rebuked when I'm not doing it. But the question is, are you learning? Are you allowing yourself to be taught what he's trying to teach you? We are not masters of anything. But yet, we need to be humble to the master who knows everything. And be open to every single day what he's teaching. Be open to every single day and what he's already shown us and what he is showing us. Man, how many times have we seen on the news or this or that where we see people uh, get into accidents off of texting and driving or drinking and driving or under some influence of something and they get in an accident and learn their life and lose their life? Do you not think God is teaching us a lesson from that? Are you learning? Are you learning? How many times where God has shown us where people get into this and people get into that and they end up losing this and they end up losing that? Are we not learning? Are we not getting the lesson? You don't know it all. And you don't, you don't know what you do. If you're put in different situations, but yet take heed, take heed to what God is showing. So if you find yourself in it, man, you pray unto the Lord because you know it can possibly go there. I'm not a master. I'm just trying to continue to learn from the master. You don't know it all when it comes to your marriage. You don't know it all when it comes to your life. You don't know it all when it comes to your kids, you don't know it all when it comes to your job. You don't know it all when it comes to your uh, dealing with things on the road. You don't know it all. You don't know it all. We don't know it all in life. But the question is, are you in position to learn? This is your morning medicine. Are you learning from the master? Because we are not the master. God bless you all. This is your morning medicine.